Hey everyone, we have a story here about uh, Age of Calamity. Uh, there's been a big snafu with how the DLC packs have been handled, and now Nintendo is saying, hey, not so fast. Uh, there's going to be continue to be issues, at least until the DLC launches. Let's get into it. So let's go over the original story of what happened here because I didn't really cover this at the channel so you might not be uh, up to date on this and if you are, congratulations. I'm glad that you have paid more attention to this story than I have. But here's the original story. I'm reading this off Nintendo Life. It says, now we can't guarantee that this deal will be permanent. We can't guarantee that you'll be able to keep it and we definitely can't guarantee that it'll last for long. But right now it looks like you can grab the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass for free thanks to an exploit. If you download the free purchase bonus on the eShop searching for Hyrule Warriors and it should be the second result it looks like you'll get the expansion pass too saving you a tidy 17.99 pounds as confirmed by a few of our staff members the exploit even works if you don't own the game so you can bank it for future use if you want we've only confirmed this to work on European accounts although some people have discovered that you can grab the expansion pass on the EU account in a working game even if you're playing on a US account at least again this has to do with obviously having an open platform that's not region locked we've only confirmed this uh to work um, the purchase bonus was made available today and includes a new weapon and costume for link the expansion pass is split into a june and november release and you can check out what's included okay okay right that's fine um so there was an exploit obviously that exploit wasn't going to fly by nintendo because it's getting stuff for free and it definitely appeared that you were getting it for free uh and then updated it on may 28th 2021 they have corrected the issue and it was no longer there. So this issue only existed for a few days. Well, now we have an update on today. And this update is very strange. And I don't know why it is this way. But here is what's going on. Um, this was update was posted today to this article. And it says, it seems that Nintendo of Europe, as this exploit only seemed to be briefly available in Europe, has closed the loophole so that no one will get Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass for free. That's fair enough, right? Obviously, they, they, they've kind of fixed it back on the 28th. Now it's kind of like, okay, who really cares about this? But what happens to people that already took advantage of this exploit? Emails have gone out to customers that downloaded the purchase bonus and then had accounts showing that they'd purchased the expansion pass. The short summary is that you don't get the expansion content for free, and due to the fix implemented, it won't be possible to legitimately buy the content until its launch day. What? Uh, so, here is the actual email from Nintendo of Europe. On Friday, May 28, 2021, the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity Expansion Pass was made available for purchase on Nintendo eShop. Buying the expansion pass entitles users to a special purchase bonus of equipable items that can be used in-game immediately. This is like the ancient armor and stuff. Unfortunately, an error on Nintendo eShop led to the purchase bonus being briefly made available to all users. Furthermore, downloading the purchase bonus without buying the expansion pass gave the impression that the expansion pass was then purchased, when this is not the case, and it did say purchased on the eShop, by the way. As you were one of the users affected, we'd like to apologize for this error. Currently, users who downloaded the purchase bonus without buying the expansion pass are able to equip the related items in game, so they're not taking away those items because you took advantage of an exploit that was literally their fault. However, once the expansion pass wave one, Pulse of the Ancients becomes available, these items will no longer be usable unless the expansion pass is purchased. This will not affect your save file or ability to play the game. So they claim. <laughs> um, users affected by this issue are currently unable to purchase the expansion pass via Nintendo eShop. This will be resolved once expansion pass wave one, Pulse of the Ancients is released, at which point the purchase button will be accessible again. Once again, we apologize for this error and any convenience caused. So what they're basically saying is, look, we know that you uh, went and downloaded this thing for free. We don't blame you for downloading it for free. Why wouldn't you if it was available? Uh, and if you did, and it said, and, you know, and it gave you the, uh, basically saying that you purchased the expansion pass, hey, look, this bug will fix when our servers refresh when the actual stuff releases. Uh, I don't know why they can't just do a server refresh right now to confirm purchases. It's kind of weird that they aren't refreshing it now. I, I'm not really sure. Like, Why does Nintendo's backend system work this way where you can continue to use it? Basically, you're taking advantage of the bug until it releases and then the bug's no longer there. I don't go, know why they can't just fix the bug now. 
Um, and this obviously wasn't an issue in like the U.S. and other territories. It was specifically to Europe for a brief period of time. So what the heck is up with that? I don't know. Uh, I find this whole situation to just be utterly fascinating. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think about this because I bugs like this, you know, I... What, what, what's Nintendo supposed to do? Are they supposed to let these people just have the expansion pass for free? Uh, I don't know if that would fly by Koei Tecmo, let alone the money Nintendo would lose. And I don't think this was super widespread. You know, we might be talking about hundreds of users that maybe took advantage of this. Maybe thousands out of potential millions that might be buying the DLC. Uh, but still, it's one of those things that it kind of sucks. Because you're going to get to enjoy some content you weren't supposed to enjoy, but you can continue to enjoy it. And they're going to rip it from you. And you can't even pre-purchase the thing to keep that enjoyment until the day one. And it's all digital anyway, so who really cares? But it's just a really weird thing. It's, a, it's just a weird thing mixed in with all of the mistakes happening with Nintendo's online system. They released that 12.0.3 update. Then they pulled that update. Then they re-released that update because there was issues with it, causing issues with Nintendo's online. I don't know what the hell is going on at Nintendo. Something about these online systems doesn't seem fully cooked. It feels like this, this, people shouldn't have to wait until the DLC launches to fix this problem. I'm not saying that Nintendo should take the content away from them right now. I think it's just one of those, they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place with a system that isn't fully baked. At least that's my personal opinion. We have a number of reasons to think the Nintendo Switch online system and the eShop and all that aren't fully cooked and have some issues. Uh, Discoverability is obviously one of the biggest ones, but that might, that's just, they didn't plan better for that, I think. I don't really know if that's a, an infrastructure problem. That's more of a decision-making process problem when they were designing the eShop. So, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am planning on picking up the DLC pack. Uh, I haven't pre-purchased it. I don't really care about the ancient armor and, and bonus weapons and stuff. None of that stuff really matters to me much. Uh, I'm more interested in potential story content, which seems like it might be coming with the second part of the expansion pass. Then again, we have yet to see the gameplay of the expansion pass. So, I presume at Nintendo Treehouse, bare minimum, we're going to see gameplay for the expansion pass because we haven't seen any. This is a weird DLC pass. Two big parts announced, $19.99 USD, and we don't even know, like, like we just have bullet point lists. We haven't seen it. Can we see these, please, at least? And then you have this bug. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, it's just weird. And we're obviously in a light news week, so stuff like this just ends up being highlighted even more. Uh, but hey, it is the calm before the storm, and we are getting close, everyone. It is Wednesday. We are three days away from E3. Uh, I'll see you guys tonight on live stream, I think, unless something happens. I don't know. You know, <laughs> the way this day is going, who knows what the hell is coming next. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.